IT students how to help each other because it improves their critical thinking, empathy, and communication skills. More importantly, it builds trust in our class as students work together to become independent learners. We talk about how to give appropriate help, giving tips and hints instead of answers, and finishing their work before helping others. When it's actually time to do work, students do an activity on ClassKick. Once I see that students have opted into the contract and are working diligently, I turn on Student Helping. Here are two students working on their activity in ClassKick. One student is struggling and he raises a hand in the app for help. Meanwhile, my other student has finished her work and opens a list to see who needs help. I like that the list is anonymous because shy students feel more comfortable asking for help. She picks somebody and can leave feedback right on their page. The first student is notified that someone has helped and jumps directly to that page. Here, he can see the feedback and use it to complete his work. In my class, peer learning like this now happens all the time. Students are much more engaged and get much more feedback. I can even review all the feedback from my iPad. For each student, I can see a list of classmates that they've helped. I pick a question and can see everything that was written between my two students. This gives me a chance to coach them on how to improve their feedback. 